Michelle. Hi there, Mark and Michelle, back together again. Aw. Um, wanted to talk today about growing a backbone, or regrowing a backbone, or building up your backbone. We're going to talk about backbones. But not necessarily your spine. Right. No, we're talking about people that uh, are afraid to speak up for themselves, or, you know, afraid to ask questions, afraid to... Uh, exert themselves, you know, and then feel sorry for themselves because they don't have the answers, you know, and, uh, an example of this is, uh, you know, I regularly go out to dinner with a group of people and, uh, on Monday nights and, you know, one is very vocal about what they want, what they have a taste for. And another one is usually not in line with that and want something else. But the loudest one always gets what she wants and the other one just sits and grumbles about it all dinner because that's not what she had a taste for. But she didn't really speak up and say, no, this week I want to do this. So instead she just sits there and grumbles about it. That's not having a backbone. That's not speaking up for yourself. Now, I mean, it goes to the extreme if you're you're the loudest one every week. Yeah, that's gonna say it though. But um, it's just not. It's not. Well, in my opinion, it's also just not letting people dictate what you're going to do all the time, or being afraid of what they're going to think, so you don't put in your own two cents. Right. You know, we've all heard that there's no such thing as a stupid question, right? And yet. Most of us still don't ask those questions because mm. we think, you know, well, what are they going to think if I ask that question and I don't know the answer and they're going to judge me and... We don't want to look stupid. We don't want to look stupid. We don't want to look like we don't know. You know, they say, uh, you know, one of the... This all, this all boiled, boiled down to... It all came from a, a book that I was... Uh, an audio book that I was listening to about 10 ways to, to, to help build, grow your backbone. You know, and uh, it's just, as I was listening to it, I kept seeing myself in a lot of these situations. And, you know, when I wrote my blog, which, you know, goes along with this video, you know, is I'm, I made sure I'm not pointing at anybody because, you know, it's, it ref, it's reflective of me. And hopefully if it reflects you, you might be able to get something out of it. But uh, it, it uh, my computer just went dead. Anyway. You know, I was just thinking, you know, one of the things that the author talked about was uh, OR versus OAR, which is OR is to observe and react. OAR is to observe, ask questions, and then react. You know, because so, so many of us just see a certain situation, see uh, some, uh, you know, a homeless person and just assume that they're, uh, they're homeless because of, of drugs or alcohol or you know, by choice, you know, mm -hmm. how many times you've seen those videos of the homeless people, people walk by and say, you should get a job, you know, and you know, a lot of people, and I've met many of them, are homeless because of things that are out of their control. You know, one guy I knew ended up being homeless because uh, the insurance wouldn't pay for his parents' medical care anymore, and he had to, you know, sell everything, he had to spend all of his money and, and, and he, you know, he had nowhere to live, he couldn't pay rent and, you know, and that's why he was living in his car for a while. But, you know, unless you asked the question, you would just assume, hey, there's a bum living in a car or there's a bum living, on, you know, there's just so many. Uh, and we're all, I mean, we're all two paychecks away from being homeless. It could have very easily happened to us when Mark lost his job. Mm -hmm. So we judge people and we don't know. The situation that put them in that position in the first place. Right. Why don't you tell that L story? Um, this is from a Stephen Covey told this in Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. He was talking about he was talking about paradigm shifts. A lot of you have probably heard this, but you know, they were on a, he was on a train, and this this man had four little kids that were just running out of control. And we've all been in restaurants and <laughs> places where kids are screaming, and the parents are just sitting there not doing anything about it. You know, first, my first thought is, you know, that parent 
terrible parent. Yeah, just, she's not, or he's not doing a, a good job of parenting. Or you know, you start judging the grown-ups. You don't judge the kids that much because kids are kids. But anyway, these kids were running around screaming and bothering all the all the people on the on the uh, on the train, and they were all talking amongst themselves, saying you know, complaining about it. Well, finally, uh, Dr. Covey went over and said, "Hey." I don't know what's going on, but your kids are really bothering everybody, and you know it's out of hand. And I really think you need to do something. And the guy was kind of in a trance, you know, far off thoughts, you know. And he, you know, he looked up and he said, "You know, I, I'm really sorry. We just came from the hospital where their mother just passed away, and I don't know what to do." You know, all of a sudden, Covey said, "You know, his whole everything just changed at that moment. His whole thought process changed to." To, you know, how can you be like this? To, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. You know, what can I do to help? And, you know, and the only reason he got that to that, he could have just judged him and probably went home and complained to his wife. Or started yelling at the poor man. Right. And, you know, but he asked a question, which, unfortunately, most of us don't, Mm -hmm. myself included. You know, but it's something I'm going to work on because that's what we're doing. We're, We're improving our mindset so we can help people, you know whenever possible because that's one of our our goals in life is to help others but you know without asking the question you just end up judging and most of the time you're probably going to end up judging wrong Mm -hmm. or unfairly so you know it's a and that's all part of having a backbone most people the ones that didn't have a backbone didn't say anything just judge this poor guy and you know probably went complained at the bar to their buddies you should have seen this jerk with these kids. You know, they were running over, throwing stuff. You know, but he took, Dr. Covey took the time to ask the question, and everything changed. So. So we hope you got value out of this video and this blog. And really take stock of those 10 um, little nuggets there and see if you can change something. Bet you can. I know I can. I can too. Have a great rest of your day. Have a good day. Peace.